Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to discuss the blue energy cards that are introduced in the Hunter X Hunter first expansion set. It's a very unique uh, set that's going to be releasing blue, purple, and green energy cards that you can build decks from. And the blue energy cards are very unique, very exciting to play. They have their own unique system. And we wanted to discuss the four or five best cards in the game for the first set for the blue energy decks that we believe can really uh, make a big difference in a lot of matches. And we're going to see a lot. So without further ado, let's jump into the number five best blue energy card in this first hunter x hunter set starting off guys with number five is goreno goreno is very amazing energy starting off at two is very easy to start you can get him off either with two zero cards uh, in the energy line uh, zero cost cards in the energy line or you could have one zero cost card in the energy line that was played the turn before uh, that can be rested so you can generate two more energies gets this guy off what happens is he becomes a consistent energy generation and a consistent ability to look at the top of the deck so as long as you keep him back in the energy line he allows you to just keep switching him once per turn uh, and getting that ability to look at the top of the deck especially with the ability to draw two cards per turn is going to be very effective it's going to allow you to go through the deck and get rid of everything you don't need very quickly plus whenever you are in a, a problem or you feel like you need more energy you can just move him forwards and he is going to be at 3000 bp absolutely strong doesn't hurt you at all for him to be in the uh, front line you can still use the ability of course uh unfortunately you're probably not going to do that you're probably going to attack because he's at 3000 bp and can do a lot of damage so not only is he amazing energy line now he doesn't pr produce the two energy but he's just such a strong supporting unit in the energy line that's extremely effective but also when he moves on to the main line to the fight line it's absolutely uh you know he's not looking bad over there either finally he has an amazing trigger ability that allows you to restand your your cars and give you that 3k so he's just good overall you're gonna see four of him in a lot of decks moving on let's go to number four guys we got this bisky another reason why it's really strong is that 3000 bp but what happens is it becomes 4000 during your turn forcing the opponent to start guarding very quickly and uh, uh, what happens is if you don't want to play this early on you can just keep in the energy line as it generates two energy for you and then whenever you're ready to go into mid to late game you can move it forwards for a little bit more additive uh, pressure on the opponent hurting the opponent at 4k forcing that attack to either go through or him losing the card is very effective once per turn very early and uh, it's just a good overall card that you're going to see a lot of in this blue, blue Hunter x Hunter decks. So keep an eye out for that. Moving on, guys, we got number three over here. Binol is the only impact uh, stoppage, impact uh, really interference that we can have. <laughs> we need four of him in the game, be in every deck, because he's the only way we can play the game uh, and stop impact there's no other counterplay to impact beside Binal so Binal what happens is all you have to do is you guard with him uh, the impacting uh, guy and you're gonna lose Binal but the guy does not get his impact off allowing you at least one more turn of uh, buying some time which is the only counterplay we have right now to impact impact is just such a strong ability that who, basically that's what's winning games whoever has more impacts really is winning game at least for the first set until the removal uh, in code gears and other sets is going to set in uh so binal is just going to be very effective you're going to see four of him in a lot of decks moving on guys uh, we have another really strong card here razor we might not see this in a lot of decks but i just thought we should add him in number two as he has a mechanic that changes basically the way anybody's playing the game not only is he a strong uh, late game character at 4000 and just strong overall uh, you know stats very cheap action one action point one for 4000 
and he can get to damage too, which is almost impossible for him to get because, I mean, no matter what, he's going to get guarded. So really the damage dude too doesn't really do matter at all because he always is going to get guarded no matter what. But what he does is he forces people to guard. So he forces the opponent to guard into him. And not only that, look at the other, his sideline ability is what's really game breaking and what made me really make put him in this list at number two. When he gets sideline, let's let's say he loses a battle in the blocking, you're allowed to move one card from the energy line forwards. Typically, your cards that you're moving from the energy line are going to be st standing up. That means you can actually get a, a, a fifth block for that turn, which is game breaking. Uh, you could use it anytime you feel like you're in a big problem or you feel like you can uh, move forwards a card that uh, maybe is basically what happens is you're still setting yourself up for success even after he dies it's just such a game breaking card that later on with more support and more effects you're gonna make this is gonna be a game breaking ability but uh yeah just for right now very solid card i believe you're gonna see a couple of them in the deck really can be very effective allowing for an extra blocking and let's say for example there is a way for uh, the opponent to get rid of your razor on the board uh, before you were able to attack somehow with some kind of trigger, uh, this sideline ability allows you to, basically you're assured that you're gonna get the attack through no matter what. Just such an interesting sideline one sideline ability, and I just wanted to highlight it. Now for number one, guys, this is a very interesting uh, blue energy spell. I've never seen this before. Uh, this is very interesting. Angel's Breath. It can it can only have three cards of this in the deck. But what happens is you're allowed to play a raided character back from the dead, from your sideline. And the trigger is absolutely amazing. So its trigger is choose one character of your opponent's front line, just sideline it. Insane. But its actual ability is absolutely amazing. It allows you to for one action point possibly well you're forced to only pick a, a character with one action point but you're allowed to play your gone fresses back you're allowed to play your biskies back you're allowed to play your kulawas back so it's an insanely strong ability and yeah that's it really guys that's uh, all i wanted to show you guys i want to showcase the top five deck cards in this set for the blue colored energy cards i think how the game is going to be union arena is you're going to be picking one color and then you can add uh, from different enemies that blue energy i don't believe you have to forcefully play one enemy i don't understand that that would be weird if that's true but yeah guys i'm interested in your opinions about this set what do you think about the blue deck? We believe it's not going to be the strongest. It does have really cool mechanic breaking, uh, you know, effects. But I don't believe it has enough impact to be in a, a very big competitor. Interested in your opinions? Leave them down below and make sure you subscribe and like.